We are very optimistic that there are conditions that people have given up on further improvement that we think neuromodulation can really help to take to a next step. At Ohio State, our goal is to also push the frontier. We are now working with this new technology to develop new therapies and new interventions for patients involving, for example, Alzheimer's. At Ohio State, we're going to be looking at 10 patients who have Alzheimer's disease. I think of them as our heroes because they're willing to take this chance with us. That's gutsy stuff. In Alzheimer's disease, there are toxic proteins that are toxifying the nerve cells and those parts that aren't working transmit their signal to other parts. And so use of a stimulator might bypass some of these areas that aren't working as well. And those areas of the brain that are still working well can therefore work much better again. If we could just delay Alzheimer's for five years, we cut the number of cases in half. So it could have a significant impact. The number of conditions that this might apply to, some days it's like being a kid in a candy store. We're looking at the use of brain pacemakers to see how we can improve patients with severe obesity or patients with different kinds of addictions like alcoholism or those who are suffering from severe traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, and looking at patients with various other neurological conditions like epilepsy that can potentially benefit from this new technology. We're very excited about this technology platform that we're developing at Ohio State, impacting not only brain conditions and neurological conditions, but we're going beyond the brain into looking at the body modulation. That's where the revolution is going on in terms of taking micro implants and they can be placed on different nerves and then be activated externally with your phone. And this is a clinical trial that we've been working on in terms of those with severe headaches, a condition called cluster headaches. So you can use your cell phone with a dental implant. So when you get your headaches, you feel it coming on and you use your cell phone to, that turns the dental implant on and stops the headaches. You can now potentially have a patient at home over the internet and see how the patient is and that uh, use that technology to adjust the device. That's a big revolution occurring in medicine with sensing technology that is being integrated into everyday aspect of our function, whether you're sensing the blood pressure, the heart rate, the respiratory rate, anxiety, or any other function, and harness that to a device that is a neuromodulator. So, this way, you're in touch with your body much more, way before it becomes clinically manifested. The next uh, decade is going to be an exciting area for our group at Ohio State. The insights into how the brain works is part of what keeps me going, and I know what keeps my colleagues going as well. We're using technology, we're refining things uh, so that we can maybe go in there and just stimulate exactly the area where we want. We're talking about a whole new arena right now. So brain pacemaker, the days are here.